Yeah, so we are at the Theatre Delicatessen and um, yeah, they've just moved into this new space, this new building and I am kind of part of the Theatre Delicatessen based in Sheffield um, and they asked if I wanted to put my installation up for the fair that's been happening over the weekend. Yeah, so new template is kind of like this, this character who's almost stuck in this Groundhog Day scenario where he keeps getting reset um, and there's all these computer programs that are kind of creating him and each time he gets reset he learns something slightly different about himself. He's basically in, inside this kind of computer and he wants to know what's outside the computer and it's, and, and it's sort of playfully engages with, I don't know, stuff that Google are doing with DeepMind. And... Uh, well I did sound recording for some of the actors uh, who were part of the production, the, the Wolves specifically. You know, they're, they're playing computers, they're, they're not real people, but they developed genuine characters for those parts. Uh, I think there's I've been interest from a lot of different, um, you know, pe people with different either technical interests or more in the arts. Definitely, it's nice when people take off the headset and feel like they've been transported somewhere else, feel like they've been fully immersed in something. Um, I think that's the kind of general reaction and just kind of thinking, oh wow, that's really cool. And, um, so that's good. Uh, I thought it was fascinating. It was quite surprising to begin with. Um, and yeah, just completely absorbing. Um, that was the thing that I find found most surprising was how how it really captured your imagination and just yeah. In some ways, it felt more like you were closer to the action, sort of standing in the courtroom in the final scene. It really felt like you were there watching people, whereas in the theatre, you very you feel a bit more detached from it, sitting in your seat. Um, so I found that quite um, yeah, added to the level of engagement with the audience. I really liked uh, the bit where you're kind of wait, you're in the waiting room and you're you kind of you kind of just stand there and then two people having a conversation and then like you know as you get close you can kind of feel like you're intruding in the personal space because it's crazy because you know it's, yeah it's two virtual people in a virtual space where you feel like you're a bit too close. Here. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a journey for me kind of because my my background is more kind of making theatre so I've had to learn a whole new sort of pipeline of how to put together a, a, a VR type theatre production and that involved working with a big team you know with the, with the um, guy that did the 3D modelling to the concept artist to the um, the programming and it's it's how all those elements fit together into like a cohesive piece that's still a theatre piece. I, I, I really liked it I liked my favourite character was this angry tentacle thing because it was weird because it's so close to you that immediately you build a relationship with it. You kind of start watching it and see how it's interacting with the things that are going on. This is actually the first kind of cohesive piece um, that's, you know, 15 minutes long and it's like it feels like our first complete piece using 3D recorded actors and the game rendered environment. One thing that we want to do is take some of our productions um, so online so then anyone with a VR headset would be able to sort of download the performance and maybe watch it with their friends across. So that again is kind of traversing that whole gaming thing where you've got these massive multiplayer online things where people can see each other's avatars. 